out at the lovely Chingford Park and its attendant sea of mud today, testing out uh, the Kukuru again. We've got a much chunkier battery on it, which seems to have sorted its CG out. Um, and uh, this is a two cell, so it'll be flying a wee bit underpowered, but that's just right for someone learning on it. All right, up we go. It's not exactly a hot rod. This is full throttle. All right, backing off a wee bit. It's lovely and docile. Bring it in nice and slow. Let's fly slightly more high octane for a very minimal given value of high octane. Stalled out of that a bit. And yeah. She can't even do ground takeoffs on two cells, so it's. There we go. Focusing around a bit. Flop. And this is her glide. It's quite a bit of wind, so she's gliding pretty flat. Bring her around. There we are. Lovely. Okay, that's uh, about all there is to her on two cell. She's not super exciting under these conditions, so I think I might uh, pause the video, swap her over to the, my three cell, and uh, we'll have a bit of fun. Okay, so it turns out some unnamed genius forgot to actually grab their three cell battery off the charger, so it looks like we'll just be flying out the rest of this one. <laughs> oh well. It's not so bad, honestly. I mean, maybe best if I show what she can do under gentle flight conditions before we go hot dogging it up with the uh, afterburner engaged. Wind is not good for a catch. Just a little. Flying around myself. Now, this plane's, uh, she's assigned to be very. Whoa! And there we go. That was an ample demonstration. Whoops, we got a doggo incoming. Get plane before the doggo does. And I think we are 100% intact, which is pretty much as hoped for. Sorry, doggo, <laughs> not for you. The plane is, uh, there's very little hot glue used on this. In fact, one of the few things that is hot glued is the control rods, the bamboo skewers. So that's terrible, I know. I put them on little hair clip bobby pin things to put them through the servo horns. Um, everything else um, is just covered in packing tape and held together component-wise with double-sided tape. And the nice thing about that is, if it takes a bit of a hit or a crack, it doesn't shatter off like, um, like, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, came a bit close to the civilians there. Uh, it doesn't shatter off the way hot glue will when you get it cold and give it a knock. Uh, so the whole thing is extremely loose and floppy, uh, which naturally would be death in some kind of high octane, high speed kind of build. But for this one, it makes it super docile and floppy in a good way, um, and very tolerant of faults. Here we are. <laughs> Zero airspeed recovery. Lovely. Yeah, the wind is getting her a bit in terms of turbulence. That's what flipped her over before. Whoa, <laughs> a little bit sketchy. Just practicing my catches now. Yeah, she comes down lovely and level when you just give her a good amount of back elevator. There's a lot of things I'd redo if I made another one of these from scratch. Um, like, there's no reason for this to be three pieces. Don't know what the heck I was thinking there. Um, and I might uh, change that attach point and a few other bits and bobs. But by and large, she's handling exactly how I hoped she would. And I think she'll be reasonably accommodating for my fiance to learn to fly on. Um, she's had a go flying some of my planes before, and everything I build 
tends to be a delta plane, uh, so a delta wing with a little bit of uh, over spec control throws. Um, and so she didn't find that super comfortable. Planes that'll get upside down before you can so much as look at them. Whereas this plane, even on full throttle, it's decidedly sedate and it doesn't have a very high roll rate, which I'm actually struggling to adapt to. Whoa! Something weird happened there where she wouldn't come out of it. Yeah, she seems to pretty much uh, lose uh, rudder roll coupling if you get her at a high angle of attack. So if you see me suddenly pitch the nose down to try and get out of an awkward stall, eh, on three cells she can manage a ground takeoff, but on two cells she just doesn't have the grunt. Oh, fair enough. Oh, good. I'll just turn my camera off one sec. I'm just filming her. Yeah, I'll just bring her in. I'll just bring her in for a landing yet. Uh, that's an annular wing, or uh, I, the, technically the sort of catch-all term would be a closed wing or a box wing. Oh, bloody hell, she's ballooning. This is all throttle off. Let's see if I can get her back. Oh, there we go. She managed to touch and go with a little bit of help from the downward momentum. But let's see if she'll come in nice for a landing. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> go around again. At least she's good on the go arounds if you can get the throttle up quick enough. There we go. Beauty. <laughs> so I forgot that in the lee of the trees it's a lot calmer wind wise, so I think I'll use this opportunity to fly out the rest of her battery in uh, calm isolation. Not that calm, but better than it was. Quite like her turn radius for a trainer. It's all right. Whoa, that was quite a balloon. There was very little actual elevator command in there. That was all wind. Okay, looks like the wind shadow of the trees doesn't extend very far. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That was careless. Gotta watch out for those trees. But she ain't bothered. If there was ever a plane that I could hang in a tree and probably not bother her much structurally, it's this one. Very pretty. Whoops. Flirty, flirty. Beautiful. That's what I'm here for. Skimming the deck. Beautiful. She's not much for right turns with the torque from that, even that little motor. I might need to beef up the rudder a bit more when I'm flying here, but I think she's just right for a trainer. Whoa, too close to the tree. <laughs> I'm used to flying in a very limited area, so this is all good. Oh, that was... A little bit foolish. Ah, oh, this plane's so dang fun. All right, let's cut her and glide her. Whoop! And blown towards the tree. One thing I love about these annular wings is how damn casually you can launch them. They just don't really care. You just sort of hold them by a bit that looks convenient and let go. Wow, yeah, that wind shadow is pretty conditional. Oh, there we go, that's one of her nicer loops. Get 
We're flying backwards a little. Got a bit less pull for sink. Whoa! And she comes skidding down. That's all unpowered. I reckon I could slope this thing if I had any vaguely so suitable sloping sites around here. And if I knew how to slope, I've never actually sloped. Okay, the wind's taking her into the back corner a bit. Come on, girl. Down the line. There we go, she did her stuck in a turn thing again there. I'm gonna bring her back. There we go. Cuddle catch. <laughs> I really like this plane. First new one I've built in ages. I've been wasting too much time fixing up old doddery ones. And this is really fun. Plus you can fly on full throttle all day with this battery. Minimum radius turn. There we go. Okay, this video is probably getting a bit long. I'm, I'm getting carried away and just having too much fun. Wee! I must go, my people need me. Uh, I'll come back again. Oh, there we go. That was more like a combat turn. Gotta love a biplane that can do the herbs maneuver. Ah. <laughs> I swear if this ground were a little less lumpy, she could probably still get off on two cell, but it ain't happening. But she can touch and go. It's just about having that momentum. Wonder if I can do a run through the goalposts. Lumpy, but we'll come around and do a better one. Oh. <laughs> That's the kind of collision you have with these planes. Excruciatingly gentle. There we are. That's more like it. I made it, poor plane. I'm being a bit flat out silly with her now. Okay, one more good flight and handle her a bit more politely and then we'll call it a day. Although I am just curious to see how much juice we pulled out of the uh, battery by now. Ah, yep. We're right on nominal voltage, so probably time to go home, but this battery is a bit of a Lazarus anyway. It's already died once, so I'm not too fussed about running it a bit longer. And up she go. Oh, the air is a bit smoother up there. There we are. Good flop to end the day. And then a glide catch. Whoa, or a glide flump. <laughs> it was the latter. Lovely. <laughs> All right, let's take this poor, mistreated, muddy-nosed airplane home. Next is uh, when my fiance and I will sit down and do some decorating. She's going to have a little uh, pigeon beak on the front and little beady eyes either side to match her name, and probably a lot of pink hearts and things like that as well, if I know her. So it should be good. Evening all. I smooch the plane. Mwah.